I'm going to show you the before and after of a new client website that I just launched. In this video, I'm going to walk you through page by page and talk to you about the exact strategy that we used to make sure that this new site looked fantastic and performs even better. So this is my brother Chandler and he creates real estate content here on YouTube. And I told him that I would build a brand new site for him if I could share the case study with you guys. And of course he said yes. So I'm going to talk a little bit of on the old website because it's one that I built. And to be fair, back then he didn't really have the clearest objectives about what he wanted this online business to do. And back then I just wasn't that good. I can't be the only one that looks back on past work and at least feels a little bit embarrassed, right? So the old site got the job done, but it was time for a brand new refresh because since that time, Chandler's online presence and his business has grown a ton. He has an insanely popular app, which is a real estate investment calculator, and he just barely launched a private community on school. So I was really excited about this rebrand and we needed to create some really great sales pages to help him sell his new offer. Now on his old site, we used a lot of black and then of course this mint color, which was his primary brand color. And I just never felt good about how it looked. It always felt a little bit too in your face. So my first objective was to find a new color palette that would look professional and respectable, but could still incorporate that mint green brand color. So I was really pumped about the color palette that I decided on. I felt like these dark greens in the background felt really professional. They looked a lot better with that mint green. It didn't feel quite so aggressive anymore. And green in general just says to me finance and money and investment. So it was the perfect solution. Now finding the right color palette can often be difficult. Sometimes it takes a lot of trial and error, which it did in this case. And a lot of times you're just gonna have to go do some research and look for some good inspiration. But luckily there are also a lot of free tools out there that will help you come up with a great color palette. And these tools are really good at helping you find colors that really complement each other. Now, the other issue I had with the old site was all of the sharp angles. It just felt sharp and harsh and not very inviting. So I wanted to soften things up. I wanted to round some corners and really just make it feel enjoyable to be on the website. We also completely redid the content of the site. And I personally am a big believer that less is more when it comes to content. Nobody wants to sit on a web page and read paragraph after paragraph. As humans, we don't have the attention span for that. So having a good balance of text and images and icons and videos is by far the most effective way to keep people engaged and to make the content of the page much easier to consume. Now with a homepage, we kept things really simple. We really just wanted to highlight four different things. The first was his free offer, which is his rental calculator. This is his most irresistible offer and because it's free, it's the most effective way to grow his newsletter. So we put that front and center. Then we had a little section to introduce him and kind of validate him as an expert. And these logos down below just act as some additional social proof. The third section here highlights his community because that's his main paid offer. And we wanna make sure that we drive people to that paid offer as much as possible. And then at the bottom, we have a spot for his free content. This section can easily be changed by him depending on which videos he wants people to see. And these links just open a separate window to that specific YouTube video. Now, my favorite part of this entire homepage is the app pop-up. When you click the main call to action, you get this little pop-up which allows you to choose the different versions of the app. I felt like this was the cleanest way to get people to the right place. So once the homepage was done, it was time to move on to his community page, which was going to be a really important sales page. Now, the most important and most difficult part of these types of pages is finding a good way to illustrate the value of becoming a member. Your page has to be really convincing to get people to pull out their credit card and buy something without ever meeting you face to face. So the goal of this is you want them to feel absolutely overwhelmed by all the value that they're going to get by becoming a member. So the first thing I did was create this graphic which shows everything that's included as a bundle. Having a graphic like this for a course or a community or a membership is really, really helpful because you can reuse this in a lot of different places. I also created a custom graphic for every individual thing that's included inside the program. All of the benefits, all of the additional bonuses and resources, and having really nice graphics for these is important. The quality of these images is a direct reflection of the 
quality of what's being offered. Now, my favorite part of this entire page is the testimonial section. This is where we're showing all of our social proof, which is essential for any sales page. Now we used a variety of written and video testimonials. And I think the way that we laid it out and styled it just looks really good. And then at the very bottom of this page, we have the pricing section. This is your final opportunity to lay everything out and then nudge them towards the plan that you would like them to pick. You can do this by showing some drastic contrast between the plans and making your preferred plan seem absolutely irresistible. Now, along with this sales page for the membership, we also created a sales page for his standalone course. And I just want to point this out briefly because I love the graphics that we created for this page. I'm super stoked at how they turned out. Now, the final thing we did was rework the blog. Chandler's got a ton of articles on his blog, a lot of which rank really well on search engines. So we wanted to make sure that they looked really clean, they matched this new style, and we have plans in the future to optimize all of these and also add specific calls to action depending on the type of content and where we want the user to go next. So now it's time for you to be honest with me about what you think about this redesign. A 10 means this is a perfect redesign and a one means I should probably go find a new profession. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.